two years ago in Italy, you'd had a tough time. I think your first 11 matches in 2006, you'd lost 10. Two, three years ago, maybe yeah. now. Three. You'd lost 10. Nine. Nine. <laughs> in the, in the catches always says 10 out of 11, but maybe you only lost nine. Nine in a row. Wow. Which is, uh, and you were then almost thinking about maybe quitting and be going back to being a student. Can you just talk a little bit about that time? Yes. Um, it was a very, very difficult period for me because at the end of, I don't know which year, you know, the year that I think it's 2006 six, yeah. or five, um, I got sick and uh, for two months and a half or something I couldn't recover. I got some virus and I felt so down. I, from morning till night I was tired and always no energy and and I'm quite an active person and I always wanted to do things and I couldn't because I felt no energy. Yeah, I was, I was just miserable and then I got somehow a little bit depressed and I couldn't recover. It was taking me a long time and I wanted to go back you know, to on the courts and play and I couldn't do it. And then after I recovered, I went on court and I somehow I lost my motivation. I didn't enjoy the, the challenges, what the sport offers, all this matches and then you know competitive spirit i lost I, I lost everything and i didn't enjoy it i i would go on the court without like not with the face down not, not really which happy, is not like you which is not me and i became a total totally different person which was unusual and i didn't know what was happening to me and i started losing so many matches in a row and i was even more down because as a professional so it's athlete, like a cycle that athlete, just I couldn't accept, you know, losing so many times in a row. It's hard, you know, to lose once and you're mad at yourself, you're disappointed. But then losing nine times in a row, I just couldn't take it. It was so hard for me because as a junior, I always, you know, I was winning and I was always going forward. And I never really uh, took things seriously until that uh, bad period came. And I think some of the things maybe were supposed to happen in order to make me realize, you know, and uh, the right values and uh, respect, you know, uh, some of the things a lot more than I than I did before. And your mother had she was with you in Italy, wasn't she? At the Italian. And, uh, I was calling her actually from this from Berlin, and I lost here in the first round. It was I think my ninth time or tenth time, I don't know. Um, and I was telling my mom, I cannot do this anymore. I'm going, you know, I'm going to hang my racket on the wall, and I'm going to go and back and study and just be a normal girl I'm like uh, I would be at home and I wouldn't travel so much I wouldn't be playing all these matches and everything you know that goes along with uh, being a professional tennis player and then my mom you know I called her on the phone I was crying I didn't feel good at all and she told me I'm coming to Rome and you have to start being positive you have to be strong things will turn around for you you have to believe in yourself you cannot always put put yourself down and I was very self-critical I always found everything so many mistakes so many bad things about you know my game myself and I just put myself constantly down down and I, I kind of I ruined myself you know it's and because I couldn't accept all those things and I was not happy. But then, you know, I completely changed my mentality and I became the real me. It was, I, I kind of uh, got out of that uh, bad period and I became so much stronger. I became a different person and I really learned to be so positive and always look, even though some negative bad things happen, you have to still always look at the bright side. Why maybe this was for a good reason, maybe this will, uh, do some some good things for to me. But sometimes you lose a match, and it's a it's a, a bad loss, but it's a good loss in a way that you learn so much more. You analyze your mistakes, you see what you've done wrong, what your opponent has done, you know what how she played, and you analyze all these things. And the next day you go on the practice court, you know what you have to work on. Sometimes you're winning matches and you don't don't care. So can you think back to the, the win you got after losing those nine? And then I was playing in Rome and it was so, <laughs> to be honest, it, the feeling, uh, I played my first match against Lik Likovseva and I was up a uh, set and 5-2 and I was looking at the scoreboard and I, I was looking at my mom as well and I couldn't believe it. It was just, 
a really unbelievable feeling. I felt that you know, maybe the scoreboard is wrong <laughs> or something, you know, it got stuck in the wrong place or something. Because I, I haven't been in that situation for uh, half a year. And then I won that match. I was so happy, you cannot imagine. I, it felt like uh, I won the biggest tournament of my career. And that was the